Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So my laptop is having a couple of issues with visual novels. Uh, they sometimes they just randomly cause it to blue screen. I have no idea why. It might be a driver issue. But anyway, so the, the, this is going to be maybe just a little tiny bit more cut up because what I'm going to be doing is every every like four minutes I'm going to be I'm going to be saving and I'm going to be ending the recording. So that I can check, so that I can, you know, save the video. Because I noticed that when it blue screened, it, it completely corrupted my video and everything I had and everything I had done in that recording. So it, it's probably going to be unnoticeable to you guys when I uh, when, when I actually put the video up. So yeah, no, just letting you know. But anyway, guys, let's jump right back into it. Between Filio's strange match between him and uh, James, and apparently not many people on the team like James. But here we are. So. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, James, what you do isn't very appealing to our group. Come on, just a game. Not like I actually hurt people. Matua raises a brow. Intentionally. He fetches the ball and readies himself. Let's go. Best of three points wins. I go to my side of the court. Is this a wager match or something? I judge whether you join or not. Uh-huh. Go easy on... Go easy on him, please. Hmm. He dribbles the ball and makes his attempts to get through me. Hmm. I block his footsteps and mimic his movement. Hmm. He abruptly looks to his side, noticing something. Huh? Ah! He jolts and knocks me down while he makes his way to the ring, making me land on my rear. He makes it and scores a point. One point! Foul. I scored, so it counts. Sure... You can do this, Phil! Ugh! I stand back up and ready myself for another shoving. He passes the ball. Hmm. This guy seems pissed for some reason. Talk about anger issues. I dash forward and made him chase me, but he quickly matches my pace and blocks my way. His stare sends me sends a slight chill up my spine. A cold, hard look is within his eyes weirdly urges me to fight back. The ground below me becomes light, and each stump of the ball echoes in my head through a rhythmic pulse. He scans me with sharp eyes and begins taunting to swipe the ball from my hands. I dash and make a run for it. We move back and forth as I try to outpace him, but with this rather firm, firm build, I doubt I can. I make a mad dash behind him until the world spins as I begin falling down again. James! He tripped. Yes, from your foot! Are you trying to get yourself into trouble? All right, all right, I'll ease up on the sick plays. Sickening, yeah. You all right? Rye helps me up while I try to make sense of the spinning court. Ugh, I'm fine. Though a little shaken up from his stunt. Sorry about that. He's a bit rough sometimes, but he's really just trying to get the best out of the team. Today, I think he's a bit pissy for not being able to catch up on practice. Mm, excuse me. I could tell he really hates me for it. Hmm. The two of them continue on their argument, with Zion throwing hands in the air, scolding the dragon with a parental tone. Yup. Oh, no, no, it's another bear. It's the coach. A large gray bear comes forward to confront the two. What's with all this yelling and shouting? No, nothing really. Just James and his antics. Why are you mad then? Arrgh. The tiger's chest heaved forward. <laughs> no roaring. Zebras from Savannah District are migrating here in the neighborhood. Gah! I'm not done with you yet. He leaves and walks away. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody just like... Mitsuro gently taps on the bear's shoulder. So, how you doing, coach? How you doing, coach? Well, other than this kerfuffle and troubling find trouble finding sponsors, I guess I'm still in one piece. The group gathers around and continue... The group gathers around and continue with Mitsuro easing the tense atmosphere. He's very charismatic. Who? Mitsuro? Yeah, he's the kind of guy, he's that kind of guy in the group. It's great to have him around, really. Phil! Hmm? He gestures to me to come over. This guy, this guy. Hey! He scans me from head to toe, then lightly smacks my shoulder. He's got a sturdy build on him. Exactly, he's really strong, sharp on his feet, too. What do you say, coach? If he's up for it, if he's up for it, then it's all right. Hear that, dude? You're in! 
<laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> Practice is the day after tomorrow in the gymnasium. The gym here? Yep. For now, since Zion left, we'll just have a short meeting. I'm assuming Zion already got some details of you. Yep, he's got my number, too. Then you're free to leave. All right. Thanks for joining us. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Think that's enough? Yep. Four trouts is more than enough, actually. Feeling confident about the bet? Yep. Don't chicken out, all right? Like hell I would. And if I lose, I still technically win. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I reach for my phone. Notification flashes on the screen with the four missed calls. Huh. What is it? Uh, Filio called me while we were fishing. I didn't answer. Maybe he didn't know we went out. Yeah. Yep, there's Leo. Just standing there in the middle of the road. <laughs> hmm. We both hop off and I carry out the cooler full of fish. Leo smiles with a curious brow up. I take it it went well. Better than expected. Right, boy? It was fine. I... I looked at Jack's still face. <clears throat> we caught some trout to cook. Oh, how many have you caught? We caught four and they're big. Oh, how are we going to cook it? I'll take two and make my own dish and you take the rest. All right. I'm thinking of grilling it. Fresh fish is very tasty. Well, I'm going to go prep these up. <laughs> hmm. Jack leans in for a kiss, but he gets pushed back. Hmm. What's wrong? Yesterday you were all over me. Literally. It's, um, once in a blue moon. Are you serious? Not even a peck on the cheek? <laughs> Make it quick. Jack kisses him on the cheek longer than he should. Okay, that's enough. I should make up for it. <laughs> Damn, that game completely dried me up. Hmm. There's a vending machine here. I scan at the contents. Lines of drink lines of drinks varying from soda to beer. Everything is fully stocked. Not a single drink has been taken from its shelf. This is my favorite grape soda as well. It's gonna be a waste to leave it's gonna be a waste if I leave this gold mine here. Hmm. <laughs> Being silly. Ha! I placed the cooler down on the counter. Has Filio come home yet? Nope. He did say he was going out to buy a drink. I don't know where he is at now. I don't know where he's at now. Must have been quite a drink. <laughs> he opens the cooler and he gasps. They're still alive and swimming? Yeah, they're extra fresh. Huh. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. I'm taking a shower after this. Indeed. Leo takes out a couple of trays of ice cubes and puts them into the cooler. I stared at the swimming spotted fish, packed together like a big can of sardines. Their fins start slowing down, eventually succumbing to the cold embrace of the ice cubes. Should be good now. That was quick. He pulls one lifeless fish out and prepares a knife and a wire. After making a cut near the tail, he reveals he reveals the spine and inserts a long wire into the hole. The fish jerks and spasm is his last spasm, now on his way to meet his maker. I'll do the other ones. Fish death. We finish wiring and cleaning the fish of the fish of guts and scales. Wiring. <laughs> After which, Leo takes a sharper knife and makes a clean cut under the meat for a fillet. I thought you were going to grill it. I will. I'm doing it in a fillet. Weird. You have to try new things to discover something you might like. Yeah, sure. I do the same and fillet the fish. The fish meat. We have lemons, right? We do. You're making lemon butter trout. Jack and I made a bet if we could, if he, if I could reach his expectations. I cannot settle for less. What's the winning prize? <laughs> what kind of dishes they're gonna make? It's gonna be so good. Hmm. I want some fish now. What's the winning prize? Hmm. It's a secret. I'm asking Jack later. <laughs> That's cheating. After preparing the slices, I cut up some thyme, oregano, and parsley. I then seasoned it on top of the fish meat with some salt and pepper. Leo prepares some metal skewers and sticks it into the meat. I'm going to prepare the grill outside. <laughs> oh, nice. Fish Making fish with the boys. What you cooking? Jack walks bare feet on the front lawn. <laughs> what? I didn't take you for a man who wears pink. <laughs> I do like pink. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, I'm grilling some trout for dinner. I ready the charcoal into the small grill and lit it up. I do enjoy me some good barbecue. And you're gonna love this. He takes the sheet of scrap newspaper and fans the coal. It burns warm orange and sparks with hot gold. <clears throat> Are you okay? Don't fan the smoke at me. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, poor Leo. He and I sit on the stools I bought for I bought from the I brought from the garage. There's this odd charm in grilling in your front in your front yard. At sunset. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but this feels great. Heh. <laughs> Taking a few scooters of fish, I squeeze some lemon on the meat and put them on the grill. The coal sizzles and the smoke changes its smell with a salty and sour pinch. How about you? What makes you happy? You always have that squinched up look on your face, and I can hardly tell if you're smiling or not. I'm not really sure. I mean, this makes me happy, too. I'm waiting for the grilled trout, waiting for the grilled trout, waiting to see if Ludus wins his bet. I guess... I guess I just experience the things that makes me happy. I'm not expecting anything. I just try to find joy in what's in front of me. Oh. What? Nothing. I'm just happy. And I'm feeling quite lucky to have all this. Hmm? I have a roof above my head. I can buy my own food. I have my mother and father, even though they're constantly in a feud. I like how that rhymed. And I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared. <laughs> the two boys... I'm glad to see you're thankful for that. Not much people have what you do. I've seen people die just to have a taste of that kind of happiness. Countless times already. Hmm. Sometimes I even wonder what goes into people's minds when they go into their daily lives. What are they doing all this for? And I just stop to wonder what the point of everything is. I've seen people die. Most of the people did not bear any ill intent. Some wanted to steal others' wealth because they think it's the only way they could learn they could earn it. And in some extra cases in some extreme cases they take a life. Not to cover up the crime, but to leave their past to start anew. They didn't have a choice, Lionheart, because no one gave them one. And I hate people because of that. Hmm. Every day I wake up in my apartment, the first thing I would do is watch people below me. I look at them like tiny little ants scudding around their destinations. Ultimately noticing that no one knows what they're doing. We're all going for one thing after another. Once we get that thing we want, we keep on wanting and wanting again. It never ends. We are never truly happy. I just wanted a normal family. I don't understand why I couldn't get one. Was it so hard for God to put me in a couple with a healthy functional relationship? Heh. <laughs> he pulls out a cigarette and hesitates for a moment. He chuckles. Fuck this. He puts it back in his pocket. <laughs> S sorry I went a little off tangent there I hope it didn't bother you too much mm, poor guy this had a pretty rough life it's alright I think I get you <laughs> hmm. oh there's Philio what are we grilling we gr we're grilling tonight oh hello Jack where have you been just around the neighborhood. Lo, I'm in a basketball team now. What? What team? Just some local college guys. I don't know the name. Huh. Then we'll celebrate with some trout. Ludus is cooking some in the kitchen. Awesome. Oh, and, uh, hmm? What is it? I... N nothing. Never mind. He doesn't seem to be too happy after last night. Right. He was acting a bit timid lately. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> I hope Ludus wins his bet, though. Oh! What's the winning prize? The prize. Oh, Lord. Are we gonna get it? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to edit. So if your cooking doesn't surpass my standard of good food, hmm, you'll be joining me at work. Work? At the office in NYPD. Whoa, all right. If I win... If I win... <laughs> you take Filio out on a date. Oh. What? Hang out with him in the beach or off your police office or anywhere. A date. A date. Hmm. Deal. Then it's settled. A date with the big wolf. <laughs> oh, that could be interesting. All right, maybe I don't want maybe I want to edit. Okay. Hmm. Really? Yes. Though I think he meant hanging out. 
I see. What a weird kid. He is a bit different from what I've seen. <laughs> ah! Warm hands cup over my eyes. Phil? <laughs> no. <laughs> Silly boy. Oh, what's that? Let's go back. Hey! I got your calls. I went out fishing earlier with Jack. Yeah, Lo told me about it. So, how was it? It was alright. Uh, we caught these trout, if you don't know. His nose sniffs his nose sniffs loudly, inhaling the the wall inhaling the waft of sizzling melted butter on fish. Nice! I got in a basketball team in case you didn't know. What team? Don't know. Haven't asked. Uh, are they good? Average. They're college guys. Your age then. It's good you're getting in touch with your peers. I hold out the ladle I hold out the ladle, the ladle near his mouth for him to taste. Blow first. He devours the entire head of the ladle. Ah! Dipshit. You're dumb! You're so stupid, Philio! Why would you do that? He scuffles for the faucet and lets his tongue rest on the flowing water. You could have told me first! Uh, the pack of candy we bought last night is in the fridge. It might help to cool your tongue down. Good idea. Silly boy. Hmm. Hmm. How does it taste? There's this round thing. Oh, what? It tastes good, though. Mint flavor. Hang on, let me ask Lo what candy this is. <laughs> Muffled, roaring laughter. Ah! Oh my goodness. Condom candy. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, well, it tastes good. I guess he didn't tell him. Oh my god. Still not cooked. Just a minute. Food's ready. Oh, we'll be there in a minute. Okay. Can't wait. All right, all set. I'll put out the coal and put the grill back. Don't take too long. Something smells good. It tastes even gooder. Gooder. Pfft, gooder. Leo readies the plate of the smoking grilled fish on the table. Wow! Oh, and I made some garlic bread to complement my dish. All right, let's have a look at it. Hmm. It does look appetizing. I'll get the plates. I'm getting the cans. Oh boy. Eat that fish, boys. Eat that fish. Nom 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 nom. Jack rests his, rests his back on the chair, and Philia finished up the rest of the trout with oily fingers. Dinner was enjoyed heartily. Leo and Jack were on their own topics while the wolf and I talked about uh, talked about his talked about his basketball team. Huh. Do we have the verdict? It's coming. What are we judging? Jack and Lou just made a bet if his food is good. Oh, well I have my answer. He burps. Hm. The verdict is... <laughs> uh, it's good. <gasps> but, it didn't really reach up there. Knock it off, cat. Knock it... Cat, knock it off. What is wrong with you? He's trying to get in from the... Oh, come on. He's, he, he's just pawing at the door. Kitty, knock it off. No. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, you, coming over to get you right now. Come get you. Knock it off. Making my video over here. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be honest, it is really tasty, and considering you've learned from Leo, it's very impressive. Though there's a lot of room for improvement. Hmm? Huh? Uh-oh. You. Hmm? You're coming with me tomorrow. Where? To the police station. Huh? I'm going... Am I going to jail? Nah, it's something else. Something else? What do you mean? It's a secret. What? <laughs> oh. That better not be the end. Oh, okay, good. Okay. 
How much more of this do I have to get through? I'm wondering. This one's good. I watched this like five times, but I still love it. I'm not into the sci-fi genre, but I do enjoy a good story. Uh, sci-fi. Huh. I'll be heading to bed. Good night. Already? It's still 7 p.m. Basketball gave me a real workout. <laughs> Imagine the big fish dinner didn't help either. Um, good night. Sleep well. Can't knock it off. You're crazy. Hmm. Oh my, what? With this disguise, I'm in distinct... <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this Elden Ring boss music? <laughs> I went out and jumped off the fence. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. This seems like something that'd be may make a good next video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye